AFALU stands for Agriculture, Forestry, and Other Land Use, AFOLU. These activities play a critical role in climate change as they contribute to global greenhouse gas emissions. Despite being a net emitter, AFALU has the potential to mitigate climate change, preserve biodiversity, and ensure food security. Globally, AFALU contributes to 14% of global greenhouse gas emissions, totaling 7.6 gigatons of CO2 equivalent in 2020. About 80% of AFALU's greenhouse gas emissions come from forest conversion, or deforestation and agriculture, mainly enteric fermentation of livestock and rice cultivation. Forest lands remove carbon dioxide from the atmosphere through photosynthesis, then store it in the soil. Over the past decades, emissions relating to livestock have increased by 13% and increased by 37% for rice cultivation. Natural forest capacity to remove emissions has decreased by 33%, mainly due to deforestation. In the same period, tree cover loss due to fire has tripled, with boreal forests the most affected. Removing emissions and mitigating climate change is possible through different AFALU options. If fully implemented, these new technologies could remove up to 65 gigatons of CO2 equivalent, more than eight times the current AFALU emissions. Some available and ready-to-deploy options include afforestation, soil carbon management, agroforestry, fire management, BEX, BECCS, rice management, biochar, vaccine for livestock, satellite-based monitoring, and ecosystems restoration. To encourage emissions reduction in AFALU, policy frameworks through financial incentives and regulations have been in place since the 90s. Governments worldwide have started to acknowledge the importance of these policies following the Paris Agreement. Today, 95% of nationally determined contributions have included AFALU in their emissions mitigation objectives. AFALU is a complex subject, but better understanding of the underlying science is increasing to help shape regulations and policies for preserving this essential sector. AFALU is a central element not only of climate change, but also for the global sustainability of societies and ecosystems.